In the Northern Hemisphere, there is a survey that covers the, every, every part of the sky. So in astronomy, in order to do work in astronomy, you really need to know what's in the sky. And so in the Southern Hemisphere, we have been, uh, I think, uh, struggling to compete with our Northern Hemisphere colleagues because we haven't had a catalog of everything in the sky. So SkyMapper was conceived of providing that catalog. Uh, it has had technical difficulties, nearly burned down again on in January 13th. The previous version of SkyMapper burned down in, 20, in 2003. But from my perspective, the telescope will catalog every star down to a million times fainter than you can see with your eye and tell you how far away it is what it's made out of, how hot it is, how big it is. Um, it'll do equal, almost as many galaxies to first order, will tell you how far away they are. And then it'll find all sorts of weird objects out there. So it really is sort of the, the treasure map of the southern sky. And one of the most interesting things to me that we can do is we can go out, for example, and select the oldest stars in the Milky Way the ones that occurred right after the Big Bang. And we know that they're there because they don't have any iron in their spectrum. That is, they, the, there was the Big Bang made hydrogen and helium, tiny amount of lithium, that's it. And this telescope is able to identify those stars that have no iron in their spectrum. So they haven't had, they're, very, they're the first things in the universe. And so, you know, we are discovering those, we have our first ones, and we will have a whole bunch of them over the next few years. Because that's one of the big questions in astronomy, is to figure out how the universe went from being cold and nothing happening to becoming the very exciting place we live in today. And so being able to see as a fossil record in the Milky Way, the stars, that's one way to do it. And the other way to do it is to look as far back in the universe as we can with the great big telescopes, and see the action happening as it happens 13 and a half billion years ago. Okay, Altro. <laughs>